All new fresh updates about Tesla Model 2. The much anticipated $25,000 Tesla vehicle is back in the headlines and the rumor mills are buzzing with predictions about when it will be released, what it will look like, how it will be manufactured, and what it will be called. This vehicle is only second to the Cybertruck in terms of online attention. To be sure, this is going to be a game changer for those who support the electric vehicle movement, but we haven't been able to justify the expense thus far. Let's now reveal the all new fresh updates about the Tesla Model 2. Let's start with the most recent news, which comes from Tesla's Ray Fort on Twitter. Ray has always been a reliable source of Tesla news, especially when it comes to the company's operations in China. People take Ray seriously when he throws a fresh rumor at us. This new information comes from a Chinese social media post, which Ray says was made by a trustworthy source and roughly translates as the elusive cheaper compact model, whatever may come sooner than you think. According to reports, the prototype has been finished and most competent suppliers have been identified. The trial production is set for the end of 2021. It's widely assumed that this less expensive car will be developed and built in China. More on that later. Now, it should be noted that the Tesla community is not short of reports, and many of them turn out to be nothing more than a mere speculation at best, and complete nonsense at worst. We have no idea why people do it. Elon Musk himself said that this car would not be available until 2023, and Elon is notorious for underestimating the time it will take his business to complete projects. So, if this more inexpensive Tesla were to start manufacturing as early as 2021, it would be huge. So, all of this discussion about a new small and cheap Tesla car stems from an Elon Musk presentation in China in early 2020. Elon began talking about Tesla's plans for the future of Giga Shanghai towards the end of his lecture, saying, I think it would be super cool, so we're going to try and do it by creating a Chinese design and engineering center to actually design an original car in China for worldwide consumption. It seems to be the ideal location for designing and building a tiny, cheap electric vehicle. This is the kind of car that is very popular in China. Tom Zhu, the head of Tesla China, all but confirmed the notion of the next Tesla model being developed and manufactured in China back in February of this year. Tom said in an interview with Chinese state media that a new research and development facility would be operational by the middle of 2021 in Shanghai. Tom explained that, quote, this R&D center is also the first Tesla R&D center outside of the United States. The research and development center has all the necessary disciplines, covering vehicle design, vehicle engineering, vehicle development, and vehicle testing. He went on to say that the new Tesla built in China will be the cheapest car the company has ever produced, with a target price of under $25,000 and global availability. When you connect the dots between Elon's speech Tom's interview and Ray's allegation, it seems quite likely that Tesla, China, is working on a prototype for the new Tesla Compact. They may be working on additional prototypes in the not too distant future. Is this, however, a sign that a complete manufacturing run is on the way? We suppose it's conceivable, but there's one major issue to consider first and foremost. So, it's no accident that the first time Elon Musk publicly stated that Tesla was planning to put a much more inexpensive vehicle on the market was on a battery day in the autumn of 2020. Elon is highlighting that their next generation of battery technology will allow them to manufacture electric vehicles at a far cheaper cost than ever before. Since the battery pack is by far the most costly component of an electric vehicle, Tesla's new 4680 battery design and manufacturing method Tesla believes it can reduce battery prices by up to 50% while simultaneously increasing battery performance. Elon also demonstrated several new Tesla innovations, such as the use of die-casting machines to create big portions of the vehicles from solid pieces of aluminum, and describe how this new method of producing cars will save time and money in the manufacturing process. He also demonstrated how Tesla planned to employ the bigger diameter of the new battery cells to build a structural battery pack that enables the battery to become its own component of the car's chassis, resulting in negative mass. These advancements in body design are significant parts of the puzzle, but the batteries are the most important. The fresh batteries must be installed first. Fast forward to today, and we have a fresh update from Tesla about the new battery cells, and it's not all positive. 
if that manufacturing constraint is the reason of the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck have been delayed until 2022, it's a good thing. They'll require the energy density provided by the new batteries, and there won't be enough. There may not be even be enough batteries on hand at Giga Austin to begin production of the next generation Model Y. Elon had stated a few months ago that the Tesla Model Y, which is built in Texas, would begin production using the new 4680 batteries. Elon has now acknowledged only a few days ago that they have to start manufacturing in Texas with the existing battery cells and then convert them to 4680 at some time in the future. Given what we know about the battery issue, it seems extremely doubtful that a production run of the new cheap compact will be achievable anytime soon. This isn't to say that what we've heard about Chinese research and development isn't accurate. We are prepared to assume that they already have a prototype of this vehicle. There's a chance they've got more than one. Tesla China may still plan to produce a few more vehicles until they have the final design. We wouldn't be shocked if the prototype was shown to the public within the next six months or a year at the most. But in terms of when we'll see it in our driveways, keep in mind that Elon has stated many times building a prototype is relatively simple. But mass production is a thousand times more complex. And the greater the amount of work you do, the more difficult it gets. And if the vehicle is going to be that affordable, there better be a lot of them made since demand will be insane. So, if Elon's reasoning holds true and greater volume equals more difficulty, this will be the most difficult production process the company has ever undertaken. It's not like it's the end of the world. We understand that customers are impatient for this procedure to be accelerated and for the vehicle to be delivered sooner rather than later. However, development cannot be hurried. Elon said that the vehicle would be available in 2023, which is a realistic estimate. The battery manufacturing restrictions will be lifted within the next year, since not only Tesla scale up its own production of the 4680 battery cell, but it will also get a consistent supply from third-party manufacturers, Cat-L, LG Chem, and Panasonic, among Tesla's battery partners, are all working on their own manufacturing versions of the new Tesla cell and should be adding to the available supply in the near future. In the long run, everything will work out perfectly, but for the time being, we should simply sit back and let the experts work their magic. Are you excited about the Tesla Model 2 to be released in the near future? Do you think the price is reasonable for its specifications? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications of our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.